theta is one condiment that can be used in making a main dish. So on that note, today we are going to make a theta chicken. So for the theta chicken, first let's cook the chicken before we add the theta. So I'm going to heat three tablespoons of oil. So once the oil is hot, just saute one medium onion that's finely chopped. Now saute this till it is soft and translucent. Now to these onions, we'll add a kilo of chicken. Just sear the chicken on a high flame for three to four minutes. You can see the color of the chicken has changed. Now we'll add a tablespoon of ginger paste and a tablespoon of garlic paste and add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder now it's time to add half a liter of water and some salt to taste just stir this once and cover and cook till the chicken is three fourth done Now while the chicken is getting cooked, let's make the tetsa. For the tetsa, let's heat 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot enough, add a cup of garlic that's been peeled. Once the garlic are slightly golden, just add green chilies. Now I have taken about 25 spicy variety of green chilies. So I'm going to add that because the tetsa is just made of chilies and garlic basically. You may feel that it's it may turn out too spicy, but trust me, it won't. So once you add the green chilies, just saute this for a minute. Once the chilies are fried and the garlic is golden, we'll remove this in a mortar and pestle. Now here I have half a dry coconut that's been grated. We're going to roast this in the same oil. Now, instead of uh, dry coconut, you can always use desiccated coconut as well. So, let's fry this quickly. Just saute the coconut till it's golden in color. Don't brown it too much because we don't want the dish to feel, to get a little bitter. The coconut is also roasted beautifully. Let's remove this in the mortar and pestle. Now to this, I'm going to add about four cups of fresh coriander and now we're going to pound this into a coarse paste, okay? So this is basically the recipe of a tetsa. Now with this recipe, you can make uh, butter chibhaji, which is a simple potato sabzi or you can make, uh, what else can you make with a tetsa? You can make parathas with tetsa, they taste also really nice. So yeah, you can use this condiment for various dishes in your kitchen. So now what I'm going to do is add this and pound this to a coarse paste. So this should be the consistency of the theta. Now if you're going to use it as a condiment, you can add salt to this. Otherwise now since we're making chicken with this, I'm not adding the salt. Now let's head on with the recipe. Now heat again 2 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, add 2 medium onions that are finely chopped. Saute the onions till they are translucent. Just let's quickly take a look at the chicken. Now let's add the hero of our dish, the tetsa. Just mix this well. So to this particular mixture that I am making here right now, you add salt and you add wheat flour and then you can add some onions as well, extra onions and you can make delicious parathas with it. Now this tetsa, we'll add to the chicken. Mix this well. Now to this, we're going to add a teaspoon of garam masala powder.
and now we'll just cover this and cook it on a medium to low flame for 5 minutes. This thesa chicken can be served as a starter because it's not a gravy. It's not even too dry, but it can go well as a starter. Now with the thesa you can make a mugachi usar, matki chi usar. The same process, the same method. Instead of the meat, you can add veggies of your choice or you can add any sprouts of your choice. So, once I shut the flame, just drizzle some lemon juice. Give it a good mix. Doesn't this resemble a desi bucket chicken? Well, try this recipe, have it with garma garam bhakri if you wish and keep watching Smita Dev.